All right, it's time for a quick video about how to search for ticks. So, um, obviously, I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. Clothed, um, you know. Unfortunately, if you want to do it, uh, otherwise, you're just gonna, you know, what I mean. You have to be able to see every part of your body. So. Um, if you're out in the woods a lot, this is something you're going to want to do. Um, so generally, I just start by going through my hair like this and looking in the mirror here. I don't even know if you can... There you go. So, um, you know, you're just kind of going slow and seeing if you can feel any, uh, you know, sort of something sticking out of your scalp this is sort of scary and whatnot Lyme's disease is a thing and um sort of a you know unfortunate necessity of being in the woods um i like to start at the top of my body and then work the way my way down because that's where ticks are more likely to be so i'm outside a lot and um unfortunately i just have to do this every day so one thing i do after my head is to look over, check my neck, I'll check my shoulders. Again, for demonstration purposes, I'm just doing this fully clothed. Honestly, you won't be when you um when you're actually doing this. Uh ticks like to once they get on you, they like to try to crawl up and hide at certain places. So I'll check under my armpits as a spot that's a spot where they hang out generally then I turn around look at my back there there look here up this side of my back I'll even like rub my back it's sort of hard to do holding a camera all right then what I do is I put I guess because I'm flexible I put a leg up and I just search, um, you know what I mean? I just look at my whole leg, the top first, and then sometimes I do this, and then uh, I take this mirror, ugh, mirror, and I search the bottom of my legs too. And I was just in the backyard, so I have to see. I know it seems really weird, but I mean, I find like you just have to check your whole body. There's really nothing to be done about it. Otherwise, um, I mean, I go like deep into the woods a lot where there's a lot of like thorns and stuff and you know, especially where there's a lot of deer, there's so many ticks, and, uh, yeah, it's scary when you get them on you, but, um, yeah, what, so that, I mean, how long was that? This video is only three and a half minutes, and that was a total body check, so, so long as you do that, um, you're safe. If you've been someplace really nasty where you think there could be ticks, you should do that, um, twice in before 24 hours passes um so a, if a tick gets on you it takes about 24 hours before they uh essentially regurgitate into you and that's how you would get Lyme's disease but um if you do it within if you find them within 24 hours you're fine so i would say you know check like 12 hours after then 24 hours after um obviously check right when you get home too but um I know it seems like a lot, but it, that what I just did there, I do that every single day, often twice a day. And um, yeah, it's also scary. Ticks can live up to two years, I've heard, um, without eating anything, without you know feeding. So that's scary. Um, but let me show you what to do when you do find a tick. And uh, yeah, okay, here we go. All right, so if you do find a tick, you have to, um, uh, it, it's just super, super hard to kill a tick. They say burn them, they say flush them down the toilet. Don't flush ticks down a drain because they can crawl up out of the drain. It's scary, I know. And uh, makes you not want to go outside ever again, but um, it's what it is. Uh, so, like, here, here's what you do. You wrap them up in tape. If you find them on you, you you know what I mean? Like, not just on your clothes, but if they bit you. 
you wrap them up, up in tape and you save them and you write the date on it. Like this was July 1st of last year. And there, let's see if we can focus on this. Not really. But you can see the tick in there. And um, yeah, so it's gross, but you save it. And then if you have an issue, if you have symptoms, you can take this tick and have it tested. But I've put a tick in here. Let's see if we have the first one. I put a tick. Oh my God, that one's so huge. They're so gross. But it's just sort of something you have to do. So I put a tick in here and uh, and I uh, here. Yeah, I don't know if that's the one. Man, there's some really small ones in here, which is really scary. Ticks can be, I don't even know if you can see this, but ticks can be up to this small. Yeah, they're super small. These guys have been in here for about six months, so I think they're probably dead. But, but um, <laughs> what if they're not? That's so weird. <laughs> um, I think they're fine. But um, so it's a little tick museum. It's so disgusting, but it's necessary. Um, once you trap them, they you know what I mean. They they have no choice but to die. But because uh, they I guess they can't breathe or something. Anyway, but what I'm, the point I'm trying to make is that I've, I had a tick in trapped like that for 24 hours and I opened it up just to like look at them under a microscope for fun to see, you know, not to be cruel, but, um, and he was still moving after 24 hours in the tape. So, so you, know, you tape them up, you save them just in case you exhibit symptoms. I mean, I have some in there from two years ago, which obviously they can go, but, um, yeah, that, so that's what you do. That's how you handle ticks. And, um, you know, it's not easy, and but it, it's also not hard either. Like I said, it, it's like six minutes of my life every day. And for that, I get to just kind of go wherever I want, you know, and put my boots on and just kind of go anywhere in a park. And I mean, obviously, there are other things you have to be worried about, like, um, you know, deer hunting and stuff like that. And you know, are there uh, hunts going on on the property? But uh, pretty much the the biggest danger, um, you know, aside from like if they're happening upon an animal, like a, a a buck deer or like a puma or something, but that that doesn't happen a lot or in, in Bucks County. But um, although I guess we do have like bears every now and again. But um, the whole purpose of this video isn't to scare you, but. Uh, you know, if you just take care of yourself, you check yourself like that after you come out of the woods or after you, uh, you know, been laying in the grass or something like that, you'll be fine. And it, the, the, what I found in my life, it really doesn't take a lot of time and it's not a lot of effort. And you might as well, like, know what's going on with your body anyway. You know what I mean? Like, see, I don't know, like, seeing the surface of your body is important, but, um, yeah, so it sounds weird having to check every surface of your body, but, you know, moral of the story, it doesn't take long, and uh, it's definitely worth it for, uh, you know, going out and having fun and seeing what's going on in the environment. So, all right, thanks for watching.